Imagine, imagine you built your own artificial intelligence system and now you want to fine tune it. The question is, Bert or Roberta? Welcome, welcome to video number seven, encode your own artificial intelligence system. Today, sentence embedding with Bert transformers. As in video number six, where I have gone through all the steps in detail, we have a Jupyter Lab environment, we're working in PyTorch, we import our NumPy, our Pandas, our UMAP, our dimensionality reduction, our cluster algorithm, our sentence transformers, and so on. But when you download your document, you analyze the sentences, you define the maximum length of sentences, you have BERT, you choose a BERT model, model for your sentence transformers, Sentence transformers, by the way, are now available in version 1.0. And you have a BERT base, a BERT large, a distill base, Roberta base, Roberta large, and other models. We are now interested that in video six, we have the paraphrase distilled Roberta base one model that we used. And how is the performance if we use different models? What are the differences within the clustering of our sentences within the document? And to achieve this length, you run through all of the calculation yourself. You have UMAP, you do the dimensionality reduction of your embeddings. You have your cluster algorithm. You run through the different cluster parameters. We leave it the same. And then you have a three-dimensional visualization also done in UMAP. You assign the coordinate x, y, and z to the three-dimensional feature set, and you can have a visualization. Of course, we want to know the words in each and every sentence within one cluster. What are the top 10 words, for example, that define all the sentences in the cluster? There's a beautiful algorithm for this. And as I already mentioned by Martin Grotendorst and Dimo Angelo, they both have a beautiful segment of code developed. We're going to apply this code here. We not just focus on words, but on bigrams and trigrams in each cluster. And we end up with something. I want to show you the result. Just as a short reminder, here are the nine technology trends 2021 from Deloitte. At first, Strategists are turning to a strategic technology platform equipped with advanced analytics, automation, and AI. Second, the company shifts its core asset to increasingly powerful platforms, maybe in the cloud. Third, supply chains are moving to value-enabling front lines of customer segmentation. Machine learning operations efficiently scale artificial intelligence to enable business transformation itself. Machine data revolution. Disrupt the data management value chain from end to end. And zero trust. Zero trust architecture. Every access request should be validated based on all available data point, leading to transformational changes to the security organization and to the enterprise itself. Rebooting the digital workplace. Will remote work become the new rule? Digital meets physical. Most of the population adapted to digital interactions. Impersonal and digital experience become more seamless and intertwined. And finally, tools for diversity, equity, and inclusion as business imperatives. We have now here four models. This is the first model of video number six, the paraphrase distilled Roberta base version one model. And we came up with the results that we have at eight clusters, cluster zero to cluster seven. This is the amount of sentences within each clusters. And these are the top words, the top 10 words or the top 10 bigrams or trigrams of all the sentences within this particular cluster. If we now apply a different BERT model, let's say we have BERT large, and you uh, use the same cluster algorithm parameter like in Distilled Roberta, the first difference you will notice 
suddenly you get 11 clusters out of this and you have 1445 sentences that are regarded by your algorithm as non-noise sentences and that can be arranged within these 11 clusters. I don't want to go through each and every cluster in detail, but you see that there is a very nice mapping almost one-to-one -one between those systems. Now, however, if you know that within this document, and in its Deloitte Tech Trends 2021, there are definitely nine clusters or nine recommendations from Deloitte, you can optimize your cluster parameter that you end up with exactly cluster number zero to cluster number eight. And now is the question, how does this cluster configuration of your 1,395 sentences differ from different models that you use? And let's start, for example, here with, I'm gonna use the model, what are we gonna use? We're gonna use remote work. Cluster number zero, remote work, we work from home, working at home, the tools that help us, the team performance that's different, work life, the growing number of whatever, the collaboration tools, Thomson Reuter is a business case Deloitte presents in its report, the digital workplace, how does it change us? Next thing, the next cluster, cluster number one with 196 sentences, focuses new technology, the tech leaders, the business strategy, the tech enabled, the technology strategy. So we have here suddenly the interlink between technology strategy, business strategy, the availability of new technology, what the technology leaders do, the technological tools we can apply. Here we have diversity, equity, and inclusion that comes with the application of the new technology, the diversity, equity, and inclusion workforce, how it's gonna change because of what it's gonna change, the tech trends and the technology that supports this change. Interesting that we have here after remote work, the technology and the business strategy coupled with the technology strategy. Of course, you have the extension from your business case within your own organization and the whole systems. If you imagine you have a digital twin system applied where you can not only just uh, calculate your maintenance cost in the future or when a maintenance event is going to happen, but you're going to increase the radius of your digital twin. You include all your supply chain. You have a core modernization of your, pla of your services. Maybe you even move them to the cloud, but this is in another cluster. You have your code platforms, you have your cost centers, you have your legacy ERP systems. This is something that's a little bit mixed in cluster number two, but then here in cluster number three, we have data scientists, the legacy system, the digital interactions left, the non-traditional data, the digital interaction, real-time digital workplace. This is quite a mixture. I would not regard it as a very clear characterization of this cluster, but it is based uh, on the training of the BERT model, of course. Here now, cluster number four, cloud-based, real-time. We integrate our supply chain, the supply networks. We have the physical world and the digital world. We used to work in the physical world. Now it's highly digitalized. You have edge computing. You have all the digital interaction on your workplace. You have moved your data maybe to the cloud. Your services are now cloud-based this dichotomy between the personal and the digital sphere. This is a very interesting topic to approach to. And of course, if you move to the cloud, if you increase your virtualization, zero trust is one of the main elements, the zero trust approach. Of course, cybersecurity is the main topic of cluster number five, zero trust architecture. Each and everybody who enters your system, enters your company, whatever, electronical gadgets to use whatever operational system they try to interconnect to your system zero trust architecture are the way to go security technology trust mindset zero trust mindset okay and then i think we should have a look at cluster number eight machine learning 
model development, data-driven decision-making. Now the machine learning operational tool. And as you can see here now, data scientist uh, appears a second time in cluster number seven. Well, this is easily understood because BERT has a word embedding that depends on the content of the word in the sentence. So if you have two sentences, both with the word water in it, the embedding of the word water in the first sentence is different to the embedding of the word water in the second sentences. And exactly this happens here. Data scientist is a bigram, but it is encoded differently within the content in cluster number seven and within the content in cluster number eight. Let's have a look at it. Cluster number eight is about the model development, machine model learning development. It is data driven and it is, if you want, a little bit at the forefront at the development of your machine learning model. Data scientists are of course needed in the production phase of the model. If you have, <coughs> excuse me, strategic choices to do to make on the company level. Real time, you have some complex tasks that integrate into your business logic. You have to identify threats. You have to identify threats based on the opportunities you have, as said, the health and so on. So you see, this is an interesting cluster where I would say first would be the model development and then would be the production model. And of course, there's a bracket, if you want, the data management, supply chain, the management value chain, the data management value, and all you go, the different model, how they are interlinked is here and zero approach, we already had a short view at. Now, if you have a real large model and you spend a lot of time on training, like on Roberta, you see that, for example, you have 1079 sentences now, as non-noise, so you lose about 600 sentences, but the hope is that you get a much clearer cluster structure with a very clear identification of the cluster. And you can see here, for example, cluster number eight with 90 sentences, you have suddenly here competitive advantage. A business strategy, business strategy interlinked with business cases, the core modernization and new technology. So here you see that the technological aspect of your strategy and the possible business cases depend highly at first at available technology, at your level of your modernization of your ERP systems, for example, the cost you're going to encounter and so on. So the main content of the clusters that the artificial intelligence system deducted from the document is a different one if you apply a bigger model that has been trained on a larger body of content and for a longer time. Thank you.